Hey there, just doing a quick video. Um, and my, our generation secondhand haul, and I'm just gonna use my parent marker here to mark off my address. Even though, you know, you stand outside my window, or if you see it outside my window, then you can see my address anyways. But, you know, I always do this on all the boxes so that my addresses aren't shown just in case when I get rid of said box. So, um, anyways, when I was online, on Facebook actually, and I was in the marketplace, I ended up finding this awesome, sweet little deal on the Our Generation camper van and uh, the Jeep, and it had like the washing machine, and it was just a family of uh, like a girl getting rid of it um, just because she doesn't use it anymore. So um, a little bit of money, which is understandable, you know, grow things. So I never got to have any of this stuff when I was younger. And my little girl, she's still little, but she, well, I'm hoping she will eventually like this stuff and we'll have like a common thing to be able to, like, to do and collect and, and whatnot, have fun with, so, and design. So, not one, but two boxes arrived today. Now, husband already knew, knew about it coming in, so that's not a big deal to me, but um, so this is the camper van up here. I've already actually opened it. I've locked it up again just in case my little boy comes out and sees. And this is all the other stuff. So with that, so with that, I ended up uh, taking a peek looking at what I got. I actually, for, and I'm not saying, anything about it because the fact that it is an awesome deal and I thank her so much for it um, but I got an awesome deal on all this stuff for just 80 euro um, and the fact of being able to ship it even though it's only just in the same country here in Ireland so um, it was an amazing deal for everything that I got plus there was like a little surprise in there because I wasn't actually expecting nor did I see that there was a doll in the picture maybe I, I just kind of slipped but um, I actually got an OG doll as well. So now I'm gonna have to figure out who she is. So, um, but yeah, so I wanna do another quick video to link onto this of when I've like cleaned it up. I'm gonna soak up, soak some of the clothing that um, was in there, um, give it a little wipe down, stuff like that because for Christmas, because I know my, my son is even going to enjoy this stuff. Um, so I'm going to, uh, wipe it all off, wipe it down, um, obviously disinfect, sanitize, whatever, and uh, get it all cleaned up and have it all set up for Christmas. So then that way it's already out, not going to bother wrapping it. I might put a few bows on it, but, but yeah, so uh, stay tuned and I will be continuing on here with um, when I'm going to tidy it up and go through all the stuff and whatnot and organize it. So yeah, stay tuned. Hey there again, I am coming back the next day uh, now and I am taking this moment while my little ones are being quiet, they're playing nicely, uh, so I may be popping in and out <laughs> to check on them obviously. Um, but yes, so continuing on with the awesome deal, this awesome haul that I got, um, obviously secondhand, but like, it's it's just as good as finding it at a secondhand shop, like a thrift shop or whatever. That's what they call them, my home. Um, so what I'm doing right now, what I've already done, is this area over here, yes, I'm sitting on the floor in my kitchen, but this area over here, I've already um, disinfected, I've already sanitized, I've already um, wiped down everything. Um, of course, there's like a little, I'll just get the remover for that, but um, because of the fact that the window um, was apart from the bars yeah you'll probably hear my daughter um, was apart from the dolls or the oh my god was apart from the window from the bars and so what I did was I throw that away um, I just used super glue to attach it back on and now it's on there good 
and same with one of these was moving too so I, I glued that back on so everything that I've already disinfected and sanitized cleaned off what is already over here so what I'm doing now is I'll show the doll here soon too sorry um, using my tripod this I kind of forgot about this as well um, as, as the doll I did look at the ad again and there was a doll in the picture so not only was I surprised, I was kind of forgotten about it, I guess. So this is the hairdressing set, which is awesome, and I've only ever seen it online. So just tucked it all inside of the bag, which is awesome. So I'm just going to give this all a good wipe down, clean, and um, stick everything back in its containers. And like, this is really, really cute. Like, so all of the little hair dyeing stuff, um, shampoos, the conditioners, um, other little jars, there's a whole bunch of little things inside of this bag. Um, so I'm just going to flip it down to here. So yes. So, uh, so this has all the little hair stuff, hair accessories, and each drawer has a different thing. The blow dryer, it looks like it actually works. Oh my gosh, it does still work. Oh wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't actually think it was still going to be working, but all this fails. Um, I can also swap out, because I just got these size batteries actually, because uh, I had to change my son's um, book lamp, um, his little light to go on his books. So I know that I have these batteries, but it's cute. It has a little handle that the doll can hold on to. So that is awesome. So I'm actually just going to get a few more disinfectant wipes and wipe down again. All right, just before I go back to wiping down some of the other stuff, I'm just showing you that uh, I've decided because of the fact that it was a little knotted and matted, I have a little bit of um, washing liquid in there as well as um, warm to hot water and just to let it sit and soak. And then I will come back, rinse her hair out. I, as you notice, I didn't go all the way up because I don't want it to actually go into um, her hair or her eyes. I mean, I'm thinking the right word. I'm just not saying them. Duh. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that, rinse it out, um, and give it a good brush. And I've already washed all the clothes items that were given to me. That was awesome. Um, so I'm going to do that and redress her and have her all cleaned up. I have a magic eraser here. There's just one mark on the leg, which I'm not really worried about. There's no breaks, no whatever. Uh, the limbs could be a little bit tightened, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So if you know or have done that to an OG doll, have tightened their limbs somehow, let me know in the comments. So I will get back to sanitizing and disinfecting the other stuff. All right, so because of COVID, <laughs> clearly I don't have as much stuff or as many uh, wipes as I usually do. So. I'm just going to wipe everything down and I did soak the other little appliance like a little accessories and stuff like that I still have yet to go through and do the camper which is right behind the camera actually um, so I still need to wipe that down and give it a good scrub um, yeah, so I absolutely love this. This is really cute. I don't actually know who's going to like it more. My five-year-old son, and I absolutely have no problems with my son playing with dolls. I have no issue with that whatsoever because he is absolutely going to love that Jeep. Even though he got stuff for Christmas too. I have stuff for him for Christmas. But um, he is going to love that Jeep. So, oops. <laughs> I'm just glad that you're able to like turn it back off. Maybe we'll switch it back off. So yeah. Um, so, I'm finished wiping these off. Whoops, again. 
um, giving these a good wipe down and tucking them back in. down the bottom. Tuck these things back in. The wire might not fit up there so I'm going to have to put it on the top. But these are so cute. Again, second hand but it's still like I love to revive stuff. Make things good again. Um, that towel actually I should have soaked and put in. It's a cute little curling iron. That is so sweet. So, I'm just going to finish tidying some of this stuff up. And then uh, it'll be all set for putting a bow on it and put it out for Christmas. So, I'm going to finish tidying these up. I may fast forward through this part. So what I'm going to do now is rinse out her hair. So I'm going to dump out dirty water. I'm just going to rinse off her hair now. I'm going to rinse off all the soap and fat. And then I'm going to give her hair a good brush. Because as you can see, maybe um, it's pretty knotted. So, I'm going to give it a good brush, dry it all out, lay it out on a towel, and I may find that I have to do another um, wash of her hair after, but we'll see how it goes. So, I'm just going to lay a towel down here. Because I'm going to, don't mind the few mugs there, <laughs> then I'm going to um, wipe her off with the magic eraser. Obviously I don't use it a lot, because it's kind of gross, but, um, so I'm going to just give her, it's literally just this mark, so this should come off pretty easy, and it already is. And then she will be as good as new. I might just wipe down just the whole leg just because. Yeah, so that little mark is gone. There's little scuffs and whatnot on the side. Just wipe those down. Just give her a really good clean before I have her clothes all finished and dress her up them all washed and whatnot from being soaked and I'm gonna start brushing her hair now. Alright so now I'm just going to and you can again probably hear my daughter so I'm just going to lightly brush the ends and 
get all the knots out and see how our hair looks after giving it a good brush. You can get the, you can use the pet ones because these work great. Um, you just use the other side, the, the metal side instead of the soft bristles because that'll just make their hair frizzy and whatnot. So, so I'm just going to brush out the ends and work from there. You may have to put some conditioner in her hair to make it a little bit softer. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back when I'm all done with that. Okay, so this is the camper van that I had gotten. Um, it's still in like great condition. Um, everything is still working. Everything is still... Let's pop that back down. Um, everything is still mostly in it. I said that there's like a couple of meat pieces missing, um, which would be in the washing machine and the dryer do not come with, with the camper van. No. So, um, no, that was just another thing that came with the bundle, which was completely awesome. And it obviously still works. So if you haven't seen this set before, this one is the dryer. So just wind up the back, pop in your clothes and stuff like that. This is a great thing about it because very little things actually have batteries, which is awesome because, I mean, not everybody can just go and shop for their batteries. So you just have to switch it on, make sure that the thing is shut, and it actually, you can see it's spinning in there. If I winded it up all the way, it would go for about 30 seconds apparently, that's what it says up here. So that's what I'm assuming, if it was wound up for the whole thing, it would probably go for like the whole 30 seconds. But it's really neat, as you can see it's still spinning. It will stop, or if you want it to stop, you just switch it back downwards. Yeah, so that is the dryer. I've already um, disinfected sanitized everything, wiped everything down, um, so it's all good to go to be able to just pull it out of the wrap and be able to stick a ball on it for Christmas. So it's the same with this, the washing machine. Uh, you just make sure the door is shut, wind it up a bit from the back, you can turn the dial, and it starts spinning. These are amazing. My husband thought it was hilarious. He didn't actually think that it was going to be like that much interactive, I guess, um, for kids to be able to do that. So my kids are going to love that. So yeah, anyways, this is the stuff that came with it. Um, again, this is, this is a used, um, like I already played with camper vans, so I didn't expect every single piece to be in with it, but... For the most part there is so the only thing I think I had to make up and it shouldn't be that hard is just a cushion for the couch here which does pop out to be a bed which I don't want to do it right now but pops out to be a bed so because the fact that that is missing the one that comes with it is only the same size as the couch shape itself so what I might do is I might make it a little bit longer as if it's like the down the back, down the seat, and down the leg. And um, then that way when the bed is pulled out, it actually fits the whole length of the bed instead of just like th two thirds of it. So, so yeah, I just changed the lights in this. I don't know if this actually came with it or not. That might have been with another scent that they had. But I just changed the batteries in it. And so that is working now for, for Christmas. Um, so the table, oh, that's in the way. The table just pops open. It still works, that's awesome. I love this, it's so cute. So I'm gonna pop that back in there. Um, I left the stools in there because I had, I wanted to be able to fit the washer and dryer in there. So the fridge has all the stuff. And again, I don't think that this came with it, but you can comment below if it actually did or not. I don't recall it having hot chocolate with it but you never know so I just popped that in the fridge just so that it's in there for right now so all the shelves are in there um, there is the drawer down below the oven still has all its pieces that's awesome so I'm pretty happy about that I never checked in behind to see no just to make sure that there was nothing 
got shoved in back there because that does come out. So I'm to make sure that little pieces. And then I just tucked in a few bits and pieces in here. So yeah, it is in great shape. I think my kids are going to have so much fun with it. And again, I'm just gonna pop this stuff back in. Um, so it's great to be able to buy used, repurpose things again. I mean, you might be able to change out the curtains if you wanted to, um, put a different pattern in it. It could be pink again, but uh, do another pattern for the curtains. And because I'm gonna be making a mattress uh, cover for the couch, then it works out that way. So yeah, I might be able to do that. So I'm going to slide this over. Is that pushing in or the turn? Or does that even do anything? Just is for look, I guess. So, um, so yeah, for for it to be set up, I'm just gonna have a bow on it, have it all set up, attach it because the, the hitch came with it. Um, attach it to uh, the Jeep, which is already put away, um, and yeah, so. I think this is a great find. If you can find it secondhand, that is awesome because, like, I mean, if you can give something life again, I mean, who needs to really buy new if you don't have to? Um, my kids aren't going to notice it, and because of the fact that they're just going to wear and tear it anyways. So, I mean, as long as things that you find are in still really good shape, there's no reason that you can't, like, of course, this isn't about like gifts anyways, but this is an awesome way to be able to save up as well. So, um, so yeah, so this is all done. Her hair, as you can see, she's kind of dangling back there. That is her hair. I've gotten it all brushed out, so it's just laying there uh, being able to dry out because I don't want her wet hair against, um, against her cloth body. So with that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will be finding some more uh, secondhand things as well as being able to buy um, some items to be able to fix up and add to the camper van. So I'll be able to buy some extra sets and stuff like that at Smith's or Ken Black and um, add them in there. So yeah. So uh, I will see you guys soon. 